Hello and welcome to the weekly edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Tonight we are talking about money, big money. Pesa imeenda. But mimi niko na yangu kwa mkono. I have 20M hapa kwa mkono. So this 20 megapixel Oppo F5. <laughs> now, uh, before we continue. Now, let's get straight into it. I assume that we've all heard about uh, what happened in Thika. The manual hacking of the bank kutoka Achini. I'm just here. For those who missed it, a few members of the robbery industry came together and pulled a project on the thicker branch uh, ya KCB. They dug a 30 meter tunnel straight into the bank vault and came out 50 million shillings richer. Moral of the story, never despise humble beginnings. <laughs> now, it took six months of planning and they made away with uh, 50 million shillings. The most interesting things I picked from this is this. The scenario at the Fika KCB branch was a group of individuals who dug a hole into the vault of the bank and successfully walked away with 50 million shillings. 50 million Kenya currency. Yes, the media reported 50 million shillings. The police reported 50 million shillings. The victims reported 50 million shillings. Do you see what I see here? For the first time in history, police have agreed with everyone else on the figures. <laughs> So we can all agree that money brings all the people together. So these guys conducted an, op an operation in the guise of operating a bookshop. They finally given meaning to the phrase uh, in bad books with the law. Now this style of robbery is not new. A bank in India was robbed through a tunnel. It has also been tried in Kenya before. This guy tried to rob a bank in Isili. Like in the Dandora. The KCB, the, the, the thicker incident though, should be the most daring incident we have seen yet. The robbery was planned and carried out swiftly within a period of six months, bearing in mind that the police station was, there's a police station directly across the project. So many things could go wrong. What if they mistakenly dug the tunnel <laughs> into the police station? As if, kwa bahati mbaya ma mzuri, shimo itoke kwa obi. Then you have to get creative now. Oh. <laughs> that depends on which officer is on duty then. Kuna wengine hata ukirudi ndani ya shimo hawezi kufuata kwa sababu hawezi toshea. Kama anaweza kutoshea, kama anaweza kutoshea, then you have to even get more creative. Habari ya fante. Mimi ni ya Hosafat. <laughs> Nabi ya Hosafat. Nisiku ya mwisho, meabiwa? <laughs> Miata ni kufufuka, ni mefufuka sahi. Iyo unasikia siyo honi, iyo ni tarubeta. Uko tayari tuwede? Hata unesenda? Nope. Now the thieves are said to have been five in number with a 50 million shillings loot. Basic math indicates that this guy has ideally made a gross income of 50,000 shillings per day over the period before the maturity. Now, there are so many accounts to that incident, but this is my favorite. Yes, that's very accurate. That is very accurate. Thieves in Kenya are becoming more creative by the job. There before, robbers used to go in, into the bank through the main entrance. The other day, they robbed a bank in Kayole by drilling. drilling a hole <laughs> through the wall. Thika, which we are discussing, most recently was robbed from the ground. I wouldn't be shocked if the next incident will hear a case like, security was tied to the king to chase madama kipita hapo kwa miliango, unge amini kwa amba mepeka mwizi kwa amba bako. And the Thika case can't be dealt with very easy. Next time, uh, instead of having the guards stand by at the entrance waiting for thieves to show up so that they can, um, actually they should borrow this idea. Just have the guards lie down on the floor just in case it happens again. Unachomwa tu kichwa hivi, unapata soja na kungoja. Hata ni wei tulikuwa tunangoja karibu. It's uh, very difficult to know how Kenyans truly feel about the thicker incident. Because most people seem to be praising the thieves for their creativity. Kenyans appreciate a good robbery. If you steal money, good money. You could even end up as an elected leader. Kila mtu anajua hiyo. Lakini jaribu kuiba kuku ndi utajua this is the land of nyama choma. I actually said in another platform that in Kenya, thieves and oxygen have one thing in common. They both support combustion. And it's very, 
it's very difficult to ignore the robbery industry in Kenya. In fact, the robbery industry is the leading employer in the unemployment sector. It's even recognized by the state. And the president is telling the truth. He's a victim. They stole his car. And Kenya steal things that you cannot even imagine. Una budget transform away. How will that transform your life? <laughs> now, after watching you, last week a generator belonging to the Tharakanithi County government was recovered at the former governor's hotel. That's how much people are hungry for power. Now, the, the problem in this country is that Nikama to Maybi Wambaka to Mezoya. That's why people have gotten to a point of celebrating thieves who have shown effort. The police have promised to dig into the thicker matter, and so have we. Our guest on the show tonight is John Kiriamiti, a reformed uh, former gangster, former bank robber, and an author now. Very good books. Uh, what a coincidence. We are also discussing a bank robbery that involved a bookshop. That's on the second part of the show. See you after this short break. Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Our subject on the show tonight is uh, we are talking about your story at Thika Ikona story Nyeti Santongelea, and we got the perfect guest for this show, John Kiriamiti. And interestingly, uh, our last guest, Pia Alikuwa Mgeni Wakamiti, and but here, a short time. This, uh, our guest tonight, Leo Pia, was a guest of state for the longest time, and he has a very interesting story to tell. John Kiriamiti, ladies and gentlemen, Karibu. <laughs> Napenda vile umenisalimia, nishika. Nishika kama bunduki, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Karibu sana. Ani mekaribia. Hey, hey. You have a very interesting story, ya? Yeah? Ati uli, wewe ndi uli idea, ulipatiana idea ya gang. Kwa gang enye ulikuwa nao kitambo, ya badale ya kuenda kungoja watu, watoke huko, ndio wanyongwe, sindio? Yes, I remember complaining to my friends. Complaining? Yes, I complain because you don't go lie outside the bank for three hours waiting for someone to bring money. Yes. Ajaku bank, uh -huh. where you can always move inside and get what there is. Na profit. Paka ye nyawa jatoa. Ya, taile, kabla ye jatolewa. Ukiangalia mtuivi, unaweza sema kama ye ni wa yoka mbuni. Mimi nakuambia, if you look at someone like that, nitakuambia wanaweza kuwa muizi, wanaweza kuwa ni. Honestly. And even when I, whenever I, I go, I give lectures in school. Now, huh? yes. you'll be surprised. One thing about prison, let me tell you something. Siju kama wanataa kusikiza. Wanasikiza. Kama wanataa kusikiza. Kama wanataa kusikiza. Kama wanataa sana, eh? Kama wanataa kusikiza. Okay. Unaito nani, my friend? Kevo. Anaitua Kevo. Kevo. Oh, uh, yeah. Ata jina hilo uli naeleka hiko. Kevo, kevo ni likuambiaji about hile dance yako ya hile siku. <laughs> but ni boys mpua. Uh, ukigia kwa jela heavy, the gate hile opened, unasikia atmosphere ni nyingine. Unasikia umeigia mahali ni kama kuna kitu kina kuuma. Huh? Kuingia tu. Kuingia tu unasikia well, this is not the uh, easy mahali isi ya hewa ile ya kawainda. So the moment you are uh, thrown out because you are not requested. Sasa zgini umefungwa unabiwa yes. we twa hizo guo sasa weni mfungwa. Chukua uniform hapa utuwa uvae. Kevo usikie. Utatafuta hizo. <laughs> utatafuta hizo uniform ukose sababu all you can see ni rags zinakaa kama mchanga. The turning point ya yeah, uamwe uache, iyo do raisi, sini pesa raisi sana. Like, unaingia tu, wambia wase wala lechini, na abdo mtu alikuwa nasikia usingizi, wala so, lala tu, alafu, <laughs> alafu unapata do. You're just ordering people. Ah, uh, yanyewe, in most cases, it takes under uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Unfortunately, the consequences. Kutafuta, mahali utaziweka, jina limejulikana, hata igawa hakukua CCTV cameras as we have them today. Yes. Descriptions from the police. Na wala watu wako huko, watu kwa najua sana. Ngoja, akukua na CCTV kamera. Akukua. Mtu wanasema tu vile unakaa. Actually, hata bansa zikuwa na grills. Nafikiria sisi diyo tilifanya watu wafikiria habari ya kuweka grills. <laughs> Sababu, ilikuwa mahali kama hapa, unabia mtu wea luka, counter number tatu. Eh. 
and inside the job mlikuwa na mtu anaambia exactly this is what i was going to tell yes uh-huh. inside information yes Na, so i see inside yes. just as a person who works there nilikuwa nafikiria for example the police are not very sure about same kama the thicker incident talking about uh, the thieves had an inside person i had something that people in the robbery industry wanajua ngaruhu ya pesa so labda walichimba baka ah 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 sniffing human beings hakuna uh-huh. sniffing dogs dio tuko nazo okay uh kila wakati ni yes. inside information for instance they are not angels kujua ati safe iko mahali hapa lazima iwe kuna mtu mmoja huko ndani kati kati aliwaelezea na hata wakati wanaenda kupachezi kuchukua hiyo nyumba next yes kuna mtu wa device this is the right place because the safe is 100 degrees kutoka kama 90 degrees or whatever degrees in for instance yes the manager of the bank and always are involved yes and i want you to hear this yes hata wakati wetu unajua mnaambiwa we have this amount of money the manager tells you or even a person who is uh, directly contact, connected with the money yes. akwambia hapa tutakuwa na pesa kiasi fulani so yes. you guys come and lakini when you look at the newspaper the following day yes. unakuta pesa zile zinasemekana zilibiwa ni three times as much So what happens here is the manager kwanza ananyakua zake. Oh, Aki okay. anaficha. Yes. Mukirate the place sasa anaenda kuzitumia. I thought different. I thought kama sasa hii wanasema thika ni 50 million ndio mkisikia ni ni 50 na mliiba 20 mtoke mse hapana tulikuwa hapo tulipata 20. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that oh, was very really interesting. No, it's not the idea. Yes. Uh, although pesa kama hizo hata kupata wenyewe atakusikia wameshikwa yes ni vigumu sababu when it is in millions okay kama 50 million yes hata investigator akienda per million tano ah, atasema okay. sikuona mtu mimi amefunga hiyo chapter yeah, you cannot throw away 5 million because you want to be an, a police inspector or anything for this si unasikia wameshikwa si wame wamefuata mpaka juja Are you aware? Are, 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 are they the real suspects? Because unajua sasa hivi ingine labda ni eh to show that investigations are going how do you accurately say that these are the exact people who stole? If you cannot answer why you have 200,000 shillings. Lazima hiyo umetoa mahali. Hivyo tu. Of course. But uh, mtu anaweza sema sana afisa mimi hii si athika hii nilikuwa nimeiba kayole. Sio. Why can you Now ni vizuri yes. lakini ina amount the same thing and what message do you have for young people uh, who are up- upcoming robbers like <laughs> the, uh, wako wako wengi sana yes. nilitembea kama leo nilitembea huko kifurai na waangalia naona vile wanafanyia wanadamu wenzao yes. i pitied them fortunately sijui kama ni damu mimi sijaona mtu anakuja kuniibia hata kama natembea hivi tu hujawahi biwa sijawahi umeikwa kayole and in fact an is <laughs> an is yeah an instant incident moja mm-hmm. nikaingia matatu hapa kuelekea Muranga yes si unajua mahali pale anaitwa Vitaidi yes Vitaidi is very famous ba ah, ikawa hijacked yes tukaingizwa mahali huko wale walikuwa wanashika waliniambia wewe mzee tunakujua hata hiyo simu yako kaa nayo lakini uizime acha kwanza ni make one point clear ndio tusipoteze watu wana watch from home when uh, John Kiriamiti says that yeye yeah, aliachiwa simu yake akaambiwa wewe mzee zima simu yako ukae nayo we pia i know there are people imewahapenia huko nyumbani it's not because you are John Kiriamiti or you are special ni ile simu unatumia <laughs> <laughs> tafuta Oppo F5 tafuta simu ya maana ndio uh-huh. ikienda unasikia uchungu kama watu wengine si ndio uh, lakini yangu ilikuwa nzuri ndio watu uh-huh. ilikuwa nzuri uh, ilikuwa nzuri kuna specialization like mtu sema nga eh niaje mimi nitakuwa mwizi but mimi naonaacha nikaeti hapa kwa kisu unajua ama msia seme eh, mimi nitakuwa pickpocket ni kama course like unasema mimi nitakuwa nitakuwa na specialize na hii ama ni graduation na point yenye itakupata okay sema kweli hakuna kitu kama hicho hakuna. and uh, kwanza tukubaliane kitu kimoja yes ukienda huko hospitali mahali wazazi wanapewa watoto yes. hakuna ward ya wazazi wale watapewa professors doctors ka, la kama wewe yes. waizi wa bank waizi wa kuku sema hiyo kitu kama mimi so daktari kama wewe so the thing here is watoto wote uzaliwa wakiwa innocent but as the 
mtoto grows up they yes. are bringing ndio inafanya mtoto awe vile anaweza kuwa professor asome vizuri anaweza yes. kuwa a criminal yes. mwizi wa kuku mambo hayo yote unajua lakini mwizi wa kuku anapigangwa sana kwa sababu ya kufanya wrong choices <laughs> ni vile tu kama masomo ah hiyo decision ya kwenda kusubua watu kwa kuku huko yeah. there's a movie about you coming out uh, the first time i saw the story about the movie was in 2011 2012 where they brought in the nigerian actor jim ike to play you na hata kai kama wewe mbona wewe usiact hizo vitu uliko unafanya ni sababu ya probably age sasa so, siwezi kuruka vile nilikuwa naruka <laughs> But I believe is sisi wote mpaka hapa tuko nao hapa tu wote honestly mpaka my wife na ni alikuwa nani na wengine I believe tuko na kale kitu kawizi ndani yetu is only that you don't promote it lakini it is right in sakola akili kawizi kasel wizi uko ndani yetu hata hapa sasa hapa kuna mtu ajaiba in the first place hata kama ni pencil ramba ataka kitu ukachukua ukaweka ati sababu yako iliibiwa na unachukua unaweka you are a thief is only that ukupata kitu kikumbwa imbe lakini hiyo penzo uliimba ama kitu kadogo so tofauti ni percentage eh hey, na ukumbwa wa kitu ni kama pombe kuna watu wa 3% concentration eh hey, wengine wa 5% lakini wote ni walevi ni wa ah okay sawa sawa and uh, you mentioned something your wife was a nun wale wa kanisa ya visa tutao fanano wale wa kanisa catholic kanisa wale i don't know whether you read about uh, something i wrote about nikeda mahali bank of baronda nikakuta nararisha watu chini and among them bibi yangu wakati wa alikuwa hapo <laughs> mili mili yes from the book uh, from the book what you read is true Alienda alikuwa hapo. hapo sasa kaona she was not my wife she was uh, she was not my wife she was uh, <laughs> uh-huh. akaona oh this is the same sauti mimi nusikia kila siku uh-huh. na wata tukikutana kwa nyumba alikuwa haogei anasema tukatokana juu ya mambo kama hayo so the thing here is unaweza kufanya kitu kama and this is why one anajihalibrate kivi yake because you cannot imagine wewe ukiabia bibi yako alale chini na yeye ndio unaibia you are doing this because of her yes alafu anakuwa uh, victim ya mambo hayo angekuita hapo angekuita hapo ukiwa Ange, kazi angepigwa risasi na wenzangu angekuita hapo ingekuwa siku yake anasema hii wewe mzee nakuwa na hapa angepigwa risasi hivyo it happens because asije kuwa identify wao watu wengine na kuna kitu ungefanya hata wewe I'm also not bulletproof <laughs> I was thinking ama you could have taken so much interest in the film industry Kenyan film industry tunabwa we don't have good stories na hizo vitabu zako are best selling you do realize kuna watu wanaweza kuja zisoma but they could watch them as movies it's very interesting i don't know what Kenyan think yes. sababu hiki kitabu tiali has been acted uh, in dutch yes na alikuja ni mzugu alikuja akanunua rights. Yes. Na ikawa acted there. It has even been translated. Uh, at hapa kuna there, 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 there is one farm here that wanted to shoot the book wa, wakati wote tulikuwa na Jamaica. Yes. I don't know but it requires a lot of money. To do the Sasa money. niliona hata nisoma kwa gazeti hata mimi nikaona at it requires about 385 m una shagana hizi 50 at 385 m that was the estimate hiyo hata ukichimba tano like, bado it's a tano rabda tano tano kumi haya sawa sawa uh, of course i know uko na mafans wengi wa Kenya sana sana eh, <coughs> on this camera hapa this camera you can give us a final word yeah the show Eh ni mpya. Haya, you can speak to this camera hapa. Waambie watu wa nyumbani and your fans tell them something. Akila mtu. Oh, hao watu hutaka kusoma vitabu vyangu? Yes. 
I hope haita encourage nyinyi kujaribu kufanya hivyo ati ndio uwe na kitambu. Yes. You don't have to be a criminal in order to write a book. You can write about bananas, everything, <laughs> you whatever you want. Yes. Uh, kitabu bora ujue wala watu naandikia. Because yes. when you write you must know the readers you want to reach. Yes. Okay, target the youth yes. na wakubali kusoma you become a millionaire instantly. You don't need to go mahali kama thika hivyo. That's good advice. And what do you say to Kevin personally? Kevin is a good boy, Kevin. Kila kitu ningekuuliza ubadilisha kidogo tu wewe ujarota. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming on our show. Uh, it was a very interesting conversation. Very very interesting. Wapi makofi ya John. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.